This year, winter sea ice cover in the Arctic was the lowest it's ever been at its annual peak on March 22, 2025. The annual peak was the lowest since records began 47 years ago in 1979. At 14.33 million square kilometers, the maximum extent fell below the prior low of 14.41 million square kilometers in 2017. The Arctic sea ice, after its seasonal growth through fall and winter, appears to have reached its annual maximum extent in 2025. This year's maximum is a staggering 1.32 million square kilometers below the 1981 to 2010 average of 15.65 million square kilometers. To put that into perspective, the missing ice is an area larger than the state of California. This continues a downward trend that scientists have observed over the last several decades. Adding to the concern, around the same time, Antarctic sea ice reached its annual minimum extent on March 1st at 1.98 million square kilometers, tying for the second lowest minimum ever recorded. The combination of this record low Arctic maximum and a near record low Antarctic minimum led to a record low for total global sea ice coverage in February 2025. The record low Arctic winter peak is particularly important because it sets the stage for the summer melt season. Less new ice forming and less multi-year ice accumulating, as has been the trend, means there is less ice to withstand the warmer months. Scientists believe a warming climate is the primary driver behind this decline, with the Arctic warming about four times faster than the global average. NSIDC senior research scientist Walt Mayer said, this new record low is yet another indicator of how Arctic sea ice has fundamentally changed from earlier decades. But even more importantly than the record low is that this year adds yet another data point to the continuing long-term loss of Arctic sea ice in all seasons. The reduction in Arctic sea ice has significant global ramifications. Sea ice acts like a global air conditioner by reflecting the sun's light and heat back into space. Consequently, less sea ice results in extra heat being absorbed into the ocean, leading to disrupted climates and potentially causing changes in weather patterns and the destruction of marine ecosystems. Furthermore, longer open water periods in the Arctic, a direct consequence of sea ice reduction, could make the Arctic jet stream wavier, which could have ripple effects in different parts of the Northern Hemisphere in the form of prolonged storms, rain, and cold snaps. This could adversely affect agriculture, livelihoods, economic development and human lives. The sea ice is also fundamental to the Arctic food web, acting as the base upon which many species depend. Algae grow within these channels and form the base of the food chain. Algae feed the tiny organisms like zooplankton that inhabit these waters. Arctic cod feed on them, seals eat Arctic cod and polar bears prey on seals. The shrinking Arctic sea ice cover poses a significant threat to the biodiversity of the region, impacting species across multiple trophic levels, with the potential for substantial population declines and even extinctions. This reduction has significant global implications. This unprecedented ice loss underscores the urgent need to address human-caused climate warming to mitigate further detrimental impacts on the Arctic and the world. The shrinking sea ice and potential for oil and gas resources in the Arctic are driving increased international interest and competition, with nations vying for access to these resources, potentially leading to geopolitical tensions and environmental concerns. Several countries with Arctic coastlines, including Russia, Canada, the United States, Norway and Denmark, are actively pursuing claims to the Arctic seabed and its resources.